Hello and welcome to part 8 of my August 2014 update. This is the fifth video I've filmed today. Doing quite well with them. Hopefully by the end of today I'll have got about half the videos I need to do out of the way. Uh, in this one there's just one thing to show, although it does fit my criteria of having eight titles and this is the Clint Eastwood uh, box set from Universal. I had I think I had two or it's my second or third one I had of these because um, like my Sopranos box set which I'll show you in a later video it wasn't packaged fully and only one side was protected so the other side was banging against the box and got damaged. Managed to get one in the end that was okay. So yeah it comes in a box. I'm sure the box. The box could be a bit smaller the juice thin cases but that's fine. Um, some of these already have got on Blu-ray um, Joe Kidd's High Plains Drifter and uh, possibly I think two meals for Sister Sarah have already been released as separate releases but the rest here haven't. So at the moment some of these films you can only get these in this box set. Um, whether they do release them separately it's a point I don't know. Same with the forthcoming Steven Spielberg collection. Some of the titles in there are only available in the box set, but got some artwork on the side there, which is the. And then we've got, as I showed you, the other side. Some different artwork on there as well. And then the bottom of the box, we have the disc specs. For each of the discs. Uh, oh, wrong way around. Seems like that bit should be below that bit, but they've done it the wrong way, other way around for a reason. For some reason, so we've got Coogan's Bluff, Two Mules for Sister Sarah, The Beguiled, Play Misty for Me, Joe Kid, High Plains Drifter, Breezy, and the Iger Sanction. Um, the ones I hadn't had on uh, Blu ray already, I've had on DVD. The only one I didn't have was Breezy because I don't think they've had a UK release. Um, there's a few Clint Eastwood films I never got released in the UK on DVD. Um, I was hoping they'd put some more in here because I'm sure they've got some rights to some of the films. But then put eight in here. And this is nice, uh, sort of glossy feel to that. So, in here we have the eight discs. So, I'll get these out one by one. Um, these have got. Thinking have they got. Same artwork as the DVD, some of these. Um, some of these wealth got um, the same artwork as the original Blu-ray release although ones that had uh, things on like so 40th anniversary edition or things like that they haven't put that on there on the cases so first one here we've got is Coogan's Bluff um, there's the front there's the back unfortunately none of these have special features um, the only one that is the Problem is play misty for me, which I'll show you because the DVD has got special features. But I've, I've kept the DVD, but the, there's no special features at all on these. Um, not as it's a first for Universal to do that because they've done that before. Oh, surely, if there were extra features on this DVD, then can't see why they haven't put them on the Blu ray. There's the synopsis. I have. Watched some of these uh, on the Blu-rays when I got them. I think it was, was it this year they came out or last year? So I watched some of them already. Um, some of these I have seen on DVD, and a couple of those I can't remember if I have seen or not. Uh, I think I've seen High Plains Drifter, uh, Joe Kidd. I think I might have seen. Definitely seen Play Misty for me. Uh, the rest of them probably haven't seen. Um, and inside we have some disc artwork there, it's all standard um, artwork on there. Uh, next up we have two mules for Sister Sarah and this one's got Shirley MacLaine in who plays a nun. Nice green vans going by. Cold for that at the moment. 
there's the synopsis in this one and the standard disc information there you can tell with these universal where they have extra features on usually if they don't list them on there on the back there they'll put down their running time extras and there's nothing there so there's nothing on these and then disc artwork is the same as the front nothing too special next up we have got Beguiles and there's the synopsis again I say just a film on these the ones I've had on DVD didn't have a special features on so it's not missing anything and this box it didn't cost a huge amount anyway. I'm hoping when they do their Steam's Burba box set that they do put the special features on things like um, I, think, I can't remember which one's in there now. I think ET's in there or Jaws or Jurassic Park anyway. So hopefully they do put do them um, put the extra features in. Not as I haven't already got them, but it seems a bit stupid taking them off as they've already got Blu-rays with them on. And the ones that are in there, like Jewel, hope they put the extra feet on those discs as well. Uh, next up is the one I mentioned earlier, it's Play Misty for Me. And I think this was these, this, the first film he actually directed. And there's a nice little cameo in there by uh, Don Siegel's in this, briefly. There's synopsis. Basically, he's got a stalker. He's the radio DJ. And this good film to probably watch with this would be um, Talk Radio, directed by Oliver Stone. Similar kind of uh, themes. And then we have the disc there. So this, this is the same artwork as, as the DVD release. Nothing different on there. Uh, next up we have Joe Kidd and then there's the details on the back directed by John Sturgis uh, music by Leila Schifrin who did a few western theme, uh, western films meet their scores well I can't think of the top of my head which ones and then we have the disc inside. So it's all all sort of similar fronts and disc artwork for these. Uh, next one is High Plains Drifter, and this is one that had the anniversary edition on the original release, but not on this one. I'm thinking the disc artwork might be different as well, or they're taking that bit off anyway. So there's the inside. There's the disc. And I think in this, he plays, whether well, it is the man with no name from um, Dollar Sledge or whether it's a similar character, but uh, Mysterious Stranger. This one, I think I've seen this, but I can't remember if I watched it on Blu ray, then it was uh, last year, possibly. Off as a DVD was ages ago. So that's um, High Plains Drifter. I do try to keep track of what I watched because it's easy, easy to forget. Um, I use Blu-ray.com so I can mark on there if I, against the Blu-ray if I've watched it, which helps. Uh, next up is Breezy, and this, this is uh, William Holden in this. And on this is a damaged sleeve in this. So if I can get that replaced still, hopefully I can. So that is a never noticed that when I had this. I'll check that when I when I get a chance. So yeah, there's the front. 
Um, don't think he's actually in this himself, although he directed it. So there's the back synopsis. And there's the details there. And there's the inside there, the disc artwork. And the annoying thing was, I probably had a when I had the replacement for this, I had two or three. Probably the one I had, one of the ones I had was fine, but I should have checked that at the time and swapped it over, but never thought about doing that. So I'll sort that out, see what I can do. And the final one is the Iger Sanction. Also got George Kennedy in. And then there's the synopsis. The problem with doing these videos a bit later than usual is that I don't tend to check these fully when I get them and then when I'm doing these videos I'm showing a bit more in depth and I'm looking at these things then I notice these problems so we'll see what I can do about that one I can't even buy that separately because it's not available separately so yeah there's a synopsis on that one Batman's an earring well set in the um, Iger mountains and there's the uh, or I on the Iger in the Alps even and there's the this guy works so same as the front. So yeah, that's all the titles in that box set. It's a very nice box set, apart from that thing I've got to sort out. Um it's about 35 40 quid, so it's not too expensive if you think about how much each film was. Even if you already got the ones that released on Blu-ray, it, it works out to a decent price per remaining title. So uh yeah, the uh I've got a couple of still more videos to do this for the month. Um Probably do those towards the last couple of videos, and I've got some other titles just to show as well before then. So, um, as usual, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And to my next video, thanks for watching.